kick off the show by the head coach of the Washington Patriots, Terry Ray. Coach, how are you today? Good. How about yourself, guys? We're doing well. Um, coach, your team coming off of that loss and to close out the regular season to Jefferson, what did you take away from that game? Uh, we had five turnovers in that game. Uh, kind of shot ourselves in the foot a little bit here, especially turning the ball over on our side of the field. Uh, our kids kept playing. It was a rivalry game. Uh, it was something we, we talked about at halftime, about going out in the second half. We played a lot better in the second half than we did the first, working towards next year. And coach, unfortunately, with the loss of the season, also comes to an end. Year one for you in the books at Washington. What did you learn about your team this year? Uh, we're, we're young. Uh, our kids were eager to learn. They're still learning. Uh, the future looks really good for us. We started probably six or seven freshmen through the year. They played significantly. Towards the end of the year, we had five um, freshmen, sophomore quarterbacks that got a full season of experience in underneath of them. Uh, a bunch of rookie receivers got a, a whole bunch of uh, reps and a whole season underneath of him. And we're looking forward to next year and building off what we started this year. You mentioned trying to build off of what you guys started this year. Um, what does this off season kind of look like for you, Coach, as you uh, try to get this team better from this year to next year? We're going to uh, we're going to open the weight room up in December for uh, open lift, and then once we get back from Christmas break in the new year, we're going to start right into it uh, four days a week lifting and working out. Coach Trey, I know you said for a majority of the team very young and just getting some experience for them was definitely a huge benefit but talk to us about the seniors that uh last friday night was their last game and how much they impacted your team this year our six seniors that we had this year helped us out a lot and they helped me out tremendously uh they bought into the system uh they believed the they were drinking the Kool-Aid that I was mixing. Uh, they helped me try to instill what we're going to move forward with here with the Washington football program. Uh, John, John, Garrett, Brock, definitely we're going to miss all three of those on the defensive line heavily. Uh, <clears throat> Dom's going to be uh, – would be have to be replaced at corner, uh, and then we had uh, Aiden, who was a uh, first year football player that helped us out on special teams. And definitely going to miss Isaiah Delauder. I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to replace him because he was that power back we had all year and helped carry the offense when we were struggling. Coach, moving forward, um, I know when we previewed the season and we talked about the schedule. You had talked about how that wasn't a schedule that you had made. It was kind of inherited. Uh, moving forward with the new schedule change, or I guess the uh, the playoff rules where you get the, um, the, the strength of schedule helps you get into the postseason. Um, how do you plan on, I guess, maneuvering your schedule, uh, knowing that, but also knowing that your program's still probably a few years away from competing with some of these teams um, across the state. So how do you kind of get that good balance so you can still have a winning season but also um, try to you know, get good opponents on your schedule to help you with the strength of schedule? Uh, I was talking to my AD over our bye week about four weeks ago about our schedule. Uh, a lot of our schedule right now, we're pretty locked in with everybody again next year. But depending on how the four classifications go, if we end up going to the four classifications and becoming 4A, uh, we're going to have poss we're possibly going to have to have to switch a couple teams off our schedule and find somebody else because I don't know how it's going to work. We're waiting and seeing what's going on with the WBSAC and those guys with that. But uh, as of right now, we have the same exact schedule next year. Coach, at the beginning of the season, you most likely made some goals that you wanted to accomplish with your program this year. What were some of those goals that you did accomplish, and what are some goals that maybe weren't accomplished that you hope to accomplish next season? Um, one of the big goals that the kids had was we wanted to get six wins. We didn't get six wins. Um, but we did hit a bunch of different goals. Our kids learned throughout the year and progressed. Uh, some of our individuals met their goals that they set for themselves. <clears throat> as a team, I thought we, we played better and uh, played as a team more as the year went on. Uh, but overall, we, we won three football games. Uh, we were in three or four games for about two to three quarters and it just looks positive and we're just going to take everything that we had positive and build off of it 
Coach, the EPAC ends up getting four teams into the postseason. Um, how do you get your program to be one of those teams in the future? And I guess also, what does that say about the competition level in this conference, seeing four teams getting into the playoffs? You know, when I first got here, first thing I said was the EPAC's one of the best conferences in the state of West Virginia. It's like murder's row. You don't, you never, you're going to get everybody's best, and it's three to four teams every year making the playoffs. Uh, we talked about it with the guys throughout the season as we've got into the EPAC schedule, where our measuring stick, where we have to be. So this is the first time I've actually got the coach in the EPAC, and each week I looked at the kids and I was like, we got to get this much better each week for next year. We have to have ourselves prepared because we need to win two or three EPAC games a year in order order to us to be successful to be a playoff football team. All righty, Coach Ray, before we let you go for one final time this year, get to our fun question this week. Just uh, tell us what sports you played growing up, what positions you played, and some favorite memories. Uh I played football. I ran track. Uh, before I played football, I did soccer for a year. Uh, in middle school, I did basketball. I wrestled. Uh, football, I was a wide receiver and a DB in high school and college. I was a strong safety. Uh, basketball, I, I was just everywhere there. I was never playing center because I was the shortest guy there. Wrestling, I was usually a lightweight guy. I wrestled anywhere from 98 pounds to 113 back in those days. Uh, in college, I played a little club rugby. That was fun. I was a fullback. Um, fondest memory would probably be of anything would be the opportunity I had to coach my oldest son, and he won the state championship uh, as a wrestler when we were we were high. 